Hi, I'm Rick Fields with Zern Industries. Today we're going to talk about how to winterize your irrigation system in cold climates using the Zern Model 375 Reduced Pressure Principle Backflow Preventer along with our new blowout accessory. Now, irrigation contractors in cold climates know that it can be very challenging to get all the system's blowouts done on time before the weather changes. It's tough to get them complete and satisfy the customer. We're going to show you how easy it is to do the system blowouts quickly, safely, completely, and on time. If you have any questions, feel free to contact the Zern customer care team or visit Zern.com. All right, it's fall and the weather's getting a little cold, so it's time to winterize our irrigation system using the Zern Wilkins 375. I'll show you how easy it is to do this. So the first step is I want to shut down my valve, isolate it so I can remove the pressure vessel. So I would do that by first of all closing off the number two shutoff valve and then closing off the number one shutoff valve. Then I can take my screwdriver and bleed off the test cocks just to get the pressure out. It's a very simple process. Get that done, get the water out. Okay, and now I'm set to remove the wedge. I'm going to take my screwdriver and back off the first screw and then the second screw. So now I can take and remove my wedge completely from the valve. I will then slide the pressure vessel forward and gently lift it right out. My next step is to take and insert the blowout flush fitting tool that I have here in my poly bag. Insert it in the place of the pressure vessel. I'll slide the collar back so now it's held in place. It's real simple. I'm just going to come and reposition the wedge, snug that down, grab my screwdriver. Just snug that up so that it's nice and tight. The next step is to take my blowout fitting and thread that into the blowout port for my air inlet. And this fitting is for my air compressor hose. Once I get that tightened up, I open up the number two ball valve. Grab my air compressor hose and drop that in and just turn it so it's nice and tight. Turn on my compressor and blow out my zones. Okay, now that I've gone through all my zones, I'm going to disconnect the air hose like that and unthread my fitting. use it on the next job, but I'm going to leave this blowout flush fitting in place because what it does for me is it gives me a visual indication that the system has been winterized. The last thing I want to do though is I want to leave the both ball valves in the half open, half closed position. That way I can make sure that the ball valves will not freeze because there's no water trapped inside. So now I've winterized completely. The fitting is going to stay in over the winter. If there's any water, if the water is turned on inside the house, it will, it will discharge through this port right here, give me a visual indication that there's something wrong, but it's not going to freeze, so it's a nice little safety feature as well. So now I'm set for the winter, and I'm come back in the spring and recommission. So the first step when you come back to recommission the backflow in the spring is to move the ball valves to the closed position. Take your screwdriver and loosen up the screws on the wedge. Move that. Slide the blowout plush fitting forward and we can remove that 
then we want to drop it into the bag. Now we're going to reinstall the pressure vessel under 375. Slide the collar back, the wedge mechanism in, and just tighten it down. It just needs to be snugged up. Don't over tighten it. And then we're going to make sure that our test cocks are in the closed position. that. Next step is to turn on the water slowly on the inlet ball valve. And then we want to slowly open the downstream ball valve. And then we would use our screwdriver to blow out the air, just to release the air, just a little bit of air come out, a little bit of water. And we're Decommissioned. And we're good to go.